Captain Jonas H. Riggs gripped the arms of his command chair as another barrage of missiles exploded against the shields of the UNS Vigilance. The venerable starship shuddered under the impacts, her aging hull groaning in protest, but she held steady. Shields down to 42% reported LT. TRL, the tactical officer. Recommend we break off, sir. We cannot defeat this entire fleet. Riggs gritted his teeth, his graying beard unable to hide the intense determination in his expression. There are 50,000 colonists on that planet, mister. TRL. Men, women, children, families. We're not abandoning them to these damned Vartek raiders. On the main view screen, a motley collection of pirate and scavenger ships circled the shining blue orb of New Pacifica like carrion birds awaiting a dying beast. The colony was barely six months old, its population a mix of humans, Tikians, and Arcopians seeking a fresh start on an unspoiled world. Now the Vartek raiders infamous for their slaving raids had come to shatter that dream. But not if he had anything to say about it. Ensign Sam Riggs barked, Get me as close to the command ship as you can. We'll show them how humans fight. The young Arcopian helm officer clicked his beak nervously. Aye, sir, closing with the enemy flagship. Riggs watched with narrowed eyes as the vigilance plunged into the swirling melee surrounding New Pacifica. Missiles and laser fire crisscrossed space as the dozen Vartek ships concentrated their fire on the lone starship protecting the planet. Explosions flared across the shields in rapid succession, causing flickering energy distortions across the viewscreen. Shields failing shouted TRL. They will not withstand another barrage. Riggs leaned forward intently. Hold course, Ensign. We're almost there. The squat, ugly shape of the Vartek mothership loomed ahead, bristling with weapons emplacements and launch bays for their swift assault craft. Scars and battle damage marked its patchwork hull, testifying to the viciousness of its pirate crew. For a moment it seemed to swell to fill the entire screen, then brilliant spears of light stabbed out. The Vigilance's bridge erupted in chaos as she was hammered from all sides. Consoles erupted into sparks and showered the deck with debris. Choking smoke billowed through the air as the atmosphere system struggled to compensate. The hull boomed and reverberated like a gong as the unshielded vessel absorbed blow after devastating blow. But still she flew on, her aging impulse drives propelling her towards the Vartek flagship like an arrow fired from a mighty bow. Riggs coughed hard, squinting through the haze at his bridge crew. Several were down with injuries, while others struggled to remain at their stations despite fire and electrical burns. The red alert alarms wailed plaintively, punctuated by the pops and crackles of dying consoles. Status, he rasped. TRL examined what was left of his tactical board shields inoperable. Weapons offline. Propulsion holding at 20% power, he glanced up. We are effectively defenseless, sir. Riggs nodded sharply. Good enough, he slammed a fist down on the comm controls integrated into his chair. Engineering, this is the captain. Divert all power to the impulse drives. I don't care if you have to get out and push give me ramming speed now. A terrified squeak answered him through the static-filled channel. Aye, sir. Diverting all power. With a deep groan, the vigilance seemed to find one last reservoir of strength. She lunged forward like an ancient warrior, making one final charge into the teeth of his foes. Faster and faster she flew, corkscrewing wildly to evade the frantic volleys still pounding her unprotected hull. Molten metal and decompressing decks vented her wrath into space as she bore down on her prey. On the Vartek bridge, Captain Vreyar watched in disbelief as the strange alien vessel continued its relentless approach. Never before had prey acted so illogically refusing to flee or break off, but actually accelerating into point-blank range. Evasive maneuvers, he screeched. All ships, concentrate fire. Blow that ship out of space. But it was too late. With a deafening boom, the Vigilance plowed headlong into the Vartek flagship's midsection. The smaller Earth ship crumpled like tinfoil on impact, its entire frame compacting inward from the overwhelming force. The mothership was ripped open to the bone as well, 
atmosphere and debris vomiting into the void through the monumental gash now splitting her hull. Like wounded titans, both ships spun wildly away from each other thrashing and spiraling towards New Pacifica's waiting embrace 3,000 kilometers below. Alarms wailed and damage control parties rushed through corridors now open to vacuum as the Vartek crew battled to save themselves. A handful of life pods sprang free of the stricken mothership, fleeing for safety. But as the flagship started to burn up in the outer atmosphere, the surviving Vartek ships suddenly lost their will to fight on. One by one they turned about and ran, chased by triumphant barrages from New Pacifica's defense batteries. In a matter of minutes, the battle was over. The Vigilance, her reactors finally burnt out, descended to the planet's surface on wings of fire to sink beneath the waves of a vast emerald sea. While on board escape pods, her surviving crew were rescued by grateful colonists and hailed as heroes. And high overhead in the heavens, a brand new star shone brightly the first marker laid down for a new constellation. From now on its cheering people would gaze up at the night sky and see the valiant Captain Jonas H. Briggs memorialized forever in stars. All thanks to one man's refusal to let innocents suffer and the ship and crew that gave their last measure of devotion when it mattered most.